Welcome back to No Nonsense Reviews and How To's Hacking the Nintendo Wii Part 18. Today I'm going to show you how to add NES covers and cheats. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to this website that's in the description below and you want to make sure you have the most up to date version of FCE Ultra GX. So the most up to date version is 3.4.3 .3, so we're going to download it and we're only going to need a couple of things from here. So you want to extract it of course. It's going to give you a couple of folders but we only really want this stuff that's in the apps folder. So we're going to put our SD card in our computer and we're going to transfer this over. So let's do that. So here's my SD card and I'm going to drag and drop this over into my apps folder. As you can see I already have an FCEUGX folder on my computer and it has a lot more stuff in here than the one I just downloaded so I don't need the one I downloaded I only really need the apps folder in this cheats folder is where we're gonna put our cheats and we can download it from that same website in the description below Let's extract it. And here are all the cheats. So the thing is with the cheats is they need to have the exact same name as whatever game that's in your ROMs folder. So I'm going to put in the Mario Brothers 2 cheat. And in my ROMs folder, I've got Mario Brothers 2, but I, again, the name needs to be the same, so I'm going to copy this name, and I'm going to paste the name as the cheat, so that way they can find each other, and you're going to need to do this for any cheats that you put in here. So in the screenshots folder is where you need to put your cover art, and again, it has to have the same name as the game and the cheat. So back at the Wii, let's see if it worked. There's my cover art, there's my game. Let's try it out. So I'm gonna pick Mario here. Here's where I go to set my cheats. Go into Game Settings, Cheats, and let's start turning them on or off here. So you can pick which ones that you want to turn on or off. Let's go back. And now Mario can float. I also turned on an invincibility cheat, so let's see. Yep, he's not getting killed. So this worked. So if you want to do this for any of your NES games, this is just follow the same instructions. That's really it. Thanks for watching. 